In the video for today, I'm going to show you how you could trace a phone using its IMEI number. Hello my friend, my name is Kenneth Brown. Welcome to channel Signatech and how are we doing today? I hope fantastic. Well, if you are not doing fantastic and you are watching my video for today, I absolutely understand the fact that you may have lost your phone or misplaced it and you are trying to trace your phone using the IMEI number. Don't you worry. Stick with me till the end. I promise you, you are definitely going to go away with a big smile on your face. And if you are around here for the first time, I suggest you subscribe to my channel, smash that bell notification icon and always share my content after you watch my videos because I make simple and easy videos for you to understand related to the technology niche. And all these videos are super interesting and can help you in some way or the other. So let we dive straight in. In order for you to trace a phone using its IMEI number, I am very much sure you have already done your research on Google or Bing or wherever and only then you have come to my video for today. I'm sure. Right. And I'm very much sure that uh, you have gone on to such websites, IMEI.info or uh, maybe trackphoneimei.com or whatever. Let me tell you one thing. Tracing a phone using its IMEI number on Google Maps, it's actually not possible. Let me tell you this straight. Okay, it's absolutely not possible. The reason being that there is no such tracer available to use for the general public. Yes, it may be available with the authorities. It may be available with a specific, uh, you know, governmental organization or something. But for the general public, it is not available. And you actually cannot trace a phone using its IMA number on Google Maps. Okay, you cannot get its exact location. So these websites are all fake. Okay, if they are saying that they can help you track a phone using its IMA number or whatever, that is not going to happen or that's never ever going to happen. So if you put in the IMA number out here and do a check, you are basically, uh, you know, getting information about your own device. You are not going to get or see where it is actually located at the moment. Even this website is not going to give you a location. This website will just, you know, make you uh, do surveys or complete this and that. And only then it's going to give you a code and all that rubbish. It doesn't work. The only way to trace a phone if you have lost it using its IMEI number or uh, the phone number or uh, the actual device is to look for it on Google Maps. And how you could do that is something I have already made a video on. Okay, but just for the sake of this video, I will be showing you how you could actually pull out your IMEI number if you need it and then you could file in a complaint with the authorities if you have misplaced your phone or something, okay? And uh, you could actually report it to get a duplicate SIM card or whatever, all right? Now, if you wanna get the IMEI number for a lost phone, specifically an Android device, what you could do is get to google.com and type in Google dashboard and hit the enter button of your laptop keyboard or whatever, smartphone keyboard or whatever. Okay, now once you are on this page, select the first option, Google dashboard. All right, once you select the first option, you get to the Google dashboard for your Google account. Now this is gonna be the account for the email which is on your lost phone or your misplaced phone. Okay, and on your existing computer system, like uh, you have to log in using that same email. Okay, so let me change my email. If I, uh, you know, change it to the email, which is on my phone, I could actually see or locate my phone wherever it is in the world. It doesn't matter. Okay, so once you select the email that you have used to log in on that misplaced device, you scroll down a bit and you see here other Google services, Android backups. Okay, click on this option, Android backups. And once you do that, it would direct you to Google Find My Device. Okay, so this is one of my phones, uh, Huawei Nova 3E. And uh, yes, you could see here that uh, it has been located to this area. So my phone is located. It is actually not lost, but I'm just showing you as an example. All right, so this is it. This is the way to trace your phone. And by chance, if you do not have your IMAI number, 
if you do not have the bill or if you do not have the box for the phone whatever may be the reason what you could do is once you are on this page just click on this information button out here once you do that you get the device IMAI number you could copy this device IMAI number and if needed you could go ahead and uh, report it to the local authorities and you could actually block the device okay now that is something very tedious and that is going to be lengthy but what you could actually do is uh, you could block the device from here itself or you could actually format the device from here itself okay from Google find my device you have an option to erase or format the device if you click on this option wherever the device is it is going to get erased I mean it's going to get formatted at least if somebody has found your phone if they are not returning it okay at least your data would get erased okay and they cannot misuse it so in that way you are absolutely safe so my friend Again, there is no way to trace an IMEI number on Google Maps as in for us in general. Okay, maybe the authorities have a way to do it and uh, even if they do, it is not going to be a precise way to do it. It is just going to be like a uh, approximate location. Nobody can trace the exact IMEI number of a device. So I hope this was of value to you and I hope I was able to provide some help in a way so that you are satisfied. So this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the short and sweet video. I will definitely come back with another interesting video like this. You take care till then. Peace out.